What's up guys? If you want to learn how to tune your own duck call by yourself at home, watch this video. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start our 2021 version of Tune Up Tuesdays. So we got a lot of emails uh, last last few weeks when we did the What's On My Lanyard segment and uh, 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 the number one email was I teach some adjustments that I can make during the hunt or in the duck blind. What are some tune-up adjustments that are easy to do. A lot of people ask about cutting the reed with a pair of scissors. So we'll start out with that. Now, when you receive your duck call from Duck Commander, I normally like to tune them a little low. One way to make your duck call higher pitched is to cut the reed. But you gotta be careful when you cut the reed because once you cut that reed, it ain't gonna grow back. So. This is how I like for the duck call to sound out of the box. That's a little bit low for a lot of people's standards, but like I said, the more moisture that gets in your duck call, the higher pitch it's gonna be. So if you want to make that call a little bit higher, twist, secure, Pull your reed out, and we're just going to trim just a little bit off the bottom of that reed. Now, you don't want to trim too much, because like I said before, you can't put it back on there. So, you have that other sound in your mind. So, with that little trim job, the tone is going to be higher, because there's less reed vibrating. So that was obvious. Now, what if you said, uh-oh, I cut off too much reed, it's too high. That's not too high, but what if that happens? I cut off too much. Now it's gonna be really high. Some people like their duck calls really high. You heard that little, you heard that little stall. So I've cut off too much. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna back that up. That's it. Just back it up a little bit. Put your wedge back on there and rock and roll. We're back to where we started. The further you back it off, the lower the tone's gonna be. Now, another little trick that you can use to lower the tone and to make your duck commander call a little stiffer is to pinch the tips. What I mean by that is you just grab those reed tips. You'll notice a little bend on the ends of each reed of our, our double reeds. We bend those with a, with a, with a bender. If you bend that tip a little further, it's gonna make the tone a hair lower and it's actually gonna stiffen up the call a little bit. Like if, if you're stalling it out, that'll help with that. So pinch those tips and now I have a, a more defined bend. That's gonna stiffen it up and lower the tone. So you ought to be able to tell, the, where's my wedge, there it is. I'll tell the difference right off. That changed up quite a bit. Made it a little raspier, a little lower. Some might say a little duckier. But once you get into the guts of a Duck Commander call, compared to other calls, you'll realize that 
as far as in blind maintenance is this call right here with with this friction fit system that Phil came up with years ago uh, is way easier to fool with in the duck blind. Now, some people like high pitched calls. Some people like a lower pitched call. It's just based on preference because when I listen to real ducks out in the wild, they all sound different. You have high pitched ducks, you have low pitched ducks, you have ducks that sound terrible. If somebody blew a duck call and it sounded like that live duck, you would tell them to crack it. But all ducks sound different. So it's just preference still. But uh, if you tend to put a lot of voice in your duck call, you tend to grunt, growl, uh, hum, whatever. If you tend to put voice into your duck call, you're gonna need one tuned a little higher than normal. And just and the opposite for if you don't put a lot of voice in your duck call, you'll need one tuned a little lower. So, well, with these little steps that I just showed you, and with as far as trimming that reed, backing it up, pinching the tips, those are some simple adjustments you can make with a duck commander call that will change the tone of your duck call. And it's something really easy you can do at home. And if you screw up, you mess the read up, just shoot us an email, we'll send you some more reads. I, I don't know how much they sell them for, but not much of nothing. So we got plenty of them. So I hope that helps you. Take it to the field, try it out. It'll work for you. Like, subscribe, see you next time.